full of nothing but blood and death. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? Well, well, Ethan Winters. What the hell was that? <laughs> Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> and welcome to the second Resident Evil Showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, and I am so excited to be your guide through today's experience. We're gonna hear from the Resident Evil team today, and they have so much new content for you. Another trailer, new gameplay, and more news for Resident Evil Village, which is right around the corner, coming to us on May 7th. We'll also be sharing the latest on the 25th anniversary of the series, and some fun surprises that go along with that, so stay tuned. To kick us off, I have the honor of introducing Jun Takeuchi, the executive producer of the franchise. Hi, I'm Jun Takeuchi, executive producer on Resident Evil. Due to your continued support, the franchise has reached its 25th anniversary. Thank you so much. 25 whole years, supported by so many of our fans. When I look back over the years and think about when we first started this project with Shinji Mikami, I never would have imagined that it would turn into such a long-lasting franchise. Even now, I want to see the series continue to succeed through your continued support. Now we've prepared the latest trailer for our upcoming title, Resident Evil Village. It's a game jam-packed full of entertainment and horror, and it has a huge breadth of content, so brace yourselves when you play. Well then, without further ado, please enjoy. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, we await the light at the end. In life, and in death, glory to Mother Miranda. When you're whining, we're almost there. <laughs> Rose, where are you? Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my to Louisa's house near the fields. Oh no, they're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Stop shouting, you'll draw the monsters. Tell me what is going on around here. It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Is this all that's left from your entire village? All that's left? There is no one left! We can bust out with this. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin. There is no safe. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. Tomorrow we're all be dead. No, let me go! Chris, what the hell? Why? Ethan Winters. Ethan Winters. Mr. Winters. Ethan Winters. Ethan. Poor Ethan. Ethan Winters. Welcome. Get off of me! Stay the fuck down! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job!
There is so much to break down there. I know we cannot wait to find out what Chris's involvement is. Now in the last showcase, we promised that another demo was coming this spring. Something tells me it won't involve casual tea time with Lady Dimitris, but I don't think the internet would mind that. <laughs> Let's pass it to Tsuyoshi Kanda, producer on Resident Evil Village, to tell us more about that upcoming gameplay demo. Kanda-san, thank you so much for joining us again today. Thank you for the introduction, Brittany. Hi everyone, I'm Tsuyoshi Kanda, producer on Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil Village has been created with the concept of a beautiful yet terrifying village in mind. And we have poured a passion into creating this experience for our fans. Of course, it also has the combat, resource management, and horror elements you expect from Resident Evil. We've also made sure there's plenty of gameplay content as well. In the previous showcase, we told you that we'd have another demo ready for you across multiple platforms. Well, I'm happy to announce that the next demo experience will be available on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, Steam, and Stadia. In lieu of the game event that we were unable to hold, we have prepared a special day where you can experience Resident Evil Village. Here are the details on what needs to be available. You'll have a total of 60 minutes to explore both the village and castle areas. You're free to spend one full hour for both stages or choose which one you want to play. It's up to you while you spend your survival horror experience. PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 owners will also get early access as well. We've titled it 8 Hours in Village. We have the details for you here. In honor of Resident Evil Village being the 8th major installment of the franchise, you will have an 8-hour window to try out the demo for 30 minutes. PlayStation players will have early access to the village section first, followed by the castle section. For the early access players, feel free to also stream and share your playthrough to the world. We hope that with your help, we will be able to show off the demo to everyone. And for the multiple platform demo, we hope that all players from all over the world will be able to enjoy the Resident Evil Village demo. Finally, players will be able to preload the demo ahead of time. PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 owners are able to pre-download the demo starting today. Please visit our official website for more details. We hope you enjoy this upcoming sneak peek at the next generation of survival horror. I'm so torn where to spend my time. Do I spend it in the village or the castle? Let us know what your plan is. But in the meantime, what if I told you there's another surprise in store? Any guesses? Let's see if we can get director Morimasa Sato to tell us what he knows. Hi everyone, I'm director Morimasa Sato. I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you all about the much requested extra game mode included in Resident Evil Village, the Mercenaries. For those of you hearing about it for the first time, it's a beloved extra mode featured in various games in the franchise. It's best known for high speed arcade style action where you have to reach the goal within a certain time limit. Of course, we've also added some new touches to it. So let's dive into some of the additions we've made. Welcome. The first change is that we've added a shop. In this version of the Mercenaries, you can access the Duke's Emporium between areas. You're free to purchase new weapons with the money you collect, or upgrade your arsenal to fit your playstyle. I saw you eyeing that one. Weapons modifications, and we'll do Thank you for your patronage! Darn! 
Rest assured, you can expect this side move to be just as fast-paced as the previous installments. Clear! You'll have to consider which weapons you'll take into each stage, and how you'll customize them. With a large arsenal of options to work with, it's up to the player to figure out what strategy works best for them. Another change is the addition of abilities. Abilities can increase the damage of handguns. or increase your movement speed. They can also make your guard stronger, each increasing the player's capabilities. Acquire new abilities to employ your own strategies as you fight your way through each stage. The Mercenaries in Resident Evil Village is a rich gameplay experience, full of surprises with special rewards for those who persevere. If you're looking for an additional challenge, we hope you're excited for this extra mode that's included with the main game. It's a challenging and rewarding bonus mode packed with content, so we hope everyone is looking forward to it. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already heard, Resident Evil has reached an impressive milestone. On March 22nd, the franchise celebrated its 25th anniversary. And like so many of you, I've been a fan since practically day one. Together, we've watched the franchise evolve from a series of survival horror games to a big umbrella of video games, movies, toys, board games, and more. Resident Evil RE Verse is just one of the many ways Capcom is celebrating that anniversary. Lots of you probably tried the open beta earlier this month, but don't forget, Resident Evil RE Verse will be available for free to anyone who purchases Resident Evil Village. The franchise has also inspired change and evolution in the video game industry as a whole. Let's hear from some industry powerhouses here to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Resident Evil franchise. I'd like to congratulate the Resident Evil team on their 25th anniversary. 25 years is a long time. It's been a true pleasure watching Capcom embrace new technologies and find new ways to advance storytelling and gameplay over the last four console generations. And I can't wait to see what Resident Evil Village will be like on PlayStation 5. Biohazard 25年おめでとうございます。バイオ 1 Hello, I'm Ashley Swodowski. I'm the character art director at Naughty Dog. Uh, I wanted to first congratulate all of the developers um, for 25 years uh, of amazing, amazing Resident Evil titles. Um, I hope that no matter what game you touched or what part of the game you were responsible for, um, you've brought inspiration to so many people over the years, myself included. So thanks so much, guys. And again, congratulations. Hello, my name is Siobhan Reddy and I am the studio director at Media Molecule. I uh, want to just start out by saying huge congrats to everybody who's ever worked on a Resident Evil game. Um, you had me at day one um, with your incredible franchise. Um, I hope you're super proud of yourselves um, and, um, you know, really enjoying kind of seeing what, you know, seeing how your beloved franchise has sort of developed over over the, the, these last 25 years. It's awesome. So huge congratulations to all of you. In 
Hi everyone, I'm Hiroyuki Kobayashi, producer on live action and anime entertainment for Resident Evil. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the series. Having worked as a programmer on the first title and as producer on several titles over the years, it's amazing to see how far the franchise has come. It's a brand name that you hear even in the movie business, and it's thanks to the love and support from the fans. To all of you, thank you so much. Now, we have something new to show you today from one of our latest projects. Please sit back and enjoy. Never gotten clearance to land that fast before. You must be special. Leon? Claire? Could you take a look at something? A little boy drew them. I can't get anyone to go on record. Doesn't that look a lot like Raccoon City? I gotta go. Don't do anything stupid. Hey, Leon. That outfit doesn't suit you. Let's get the president to the bunker. Only hostile gets a headshot. What did you think? I'm happy we're finally able to share the latest trailer for Resident Evil Infinite Darkness with you today, starring Leon and Claire. It takes place in 2006, approximately two years after the events of Resident Evil 4. A zombie outbreak is happening in the White House, and the president is none other than the father of Ashley Graham from Resident Evil 4. He's just one of the many characters that we'll be introducing along the way, so please stay tuned. Resident Evil Infinite Darkness will be airing on Netflix worldwide in July 2021. And I have one more announcement for you, related to the live-action reboot of Resident Evil. Filming in Toronto has wrapped up, and we're in the middle of creating the creatures in CGI, so please stay tuned for more information, including the release date. Until next time, thank you for watching. Hi. On behalf of everybody here at Behavior, congratulations on 25 years of horror. Over the years, our very own 4v1 multiplayer action game, Dead by Daylight, has become the Hall of Fame of horror. And today, I'm excited to say Resident Evil will soon be joining our universe. Now tune in to our 5th anniversary broadcast on May the 25th for the full reveal of the Resident Evil chapter coming to DVD this June. And in the meantime, if you're up for it, I suggest you get some practice in before the chapter comes into the fog. Because look, you have two choices here. Kill or be killed. It's your call. Well, we're not quite finished yet. Here's one more announcement that's taking Resident Evil to a brand new point of view. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Mike Morishita, executive producer at Facebook. Resident Evil, the franchise that changed the way we think about video games, is still going strong after 25 years. Congratulations, Capcom, on this incredible milestone. Now let's rewind for a moment. I remember when Resident Evil 4 launched in 2005. It was amazing, brilliant. Nobody had ever seen a game like it before. And it remains at the pinnacle of the survival horror genre. In the 16 years since the launch of Resident Evil 4, the gaming industry has evolved, and new ways to play have entered the market. 
and we've been eager to explore how Resident Evil 4 could be enhanced for a modern audience. I'm Mike Verdue, VP of Content at Facebook Reality Labs. I'm excited to announce that Capcom, Oculus Studios, and Armature Studio are partnering to bring Resident Evil 4 to Quest 2. We're thrilled about this game. We can't wait for you to experience the world of Resident Evil in a new medium. It's immersive, comes with a first-person perspective, and will bring new richness and depth to the Resident Evil 4 experience you know and love. You'll be able to step inside the game for the first time. Tune in to the Oculus Gaming Showcase next week, April 21st, for more details on Resident Evil 4 VR. How we brought this title to this new medium and you can check out some additional gameplay footage as well. You can tune in on the Oculus Facebook page or on Twitch. My father? I still awake. And that's it for our showcase. Let's recap the exciting news from today's event. Resident Evil Village releases on May 7th, and a demo experience will be available for a limited time each week leading up to the game's launch. PlayStation owners can pre-download the demo starting today. The Mercenaries mode was also announced with a first look at gameplay. This fan favorite will be included with the game. And finally, to celebrate 25 years of the franchise, we have Resident Evil Infinite Darkness coming to Netflix and new upcoming collaborations with partners outside of Capcom. Thanks again for spending some time with us today for another exciting showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, and it's been an honor being here with you again and hosting this event. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Another time.